Welcome to the InfoMullet YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content, please like or share. And if you'd like to support the InfoMullet by becoming a mulleteer, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate your support. In the United States, we actually have a very interesting situation. The lack of leadership out of the White House and the failure to have a national plan, along with our sort of unique federal systems where state governors have a lot of power that doesn't exist in other countries, gives us kind of a 50-state experiment bed. Now, from a system dynamics, this is fascinating because you have 50 different states all trying different things that we can compare from a <laughs> I'm living in that country statement. It's kind of horrifying because all 50 states are coming up with their own ideas. And I want to be very clear as we get into these charts, even though these charts are abstract and isolated and we can say Washington and California are doing better than New York or Arkansas is doing better than Georgia. The actual reality is these states are connected by a large amount of lands and freeways. So it's not enough to have states that are doing well if other states are doing poorly. People move around. This disease is highly mobile. So we need to be mindful that even as certain states do well, we're replicating that and incorporating those lessons in the other states and not just assuming that, hey, I'm good in Massachusetts, but New York's falling apart. That's not going to affect me. Well, there's a lot of land between New York and Massachusetts and, and, and that's connects and you can drive. So let's be careful. But to compare these, these are three states that all did mobilization and lockdown. So now this is looking within a certain explanatory theory at the state level. And I think what's important here is the timing. So mobilization and lockdown has a big timing component. And Washington on the far right here, if you remember, was the one with the first outbreak. They had it the earliest. And they also, Governor Inslee put in the um, movement restrictive order. Actually, maybe it was early March now that I think about it, but he jumped on it much quick, more quickly than other states. In California, they were a little, I think it was the 17th or something when they put a state level lockdown. But as soon as they started getting cases, the major cities, the big population cities in the Bay Area went into lockdown as early as March 12th. So they went into lockdown very early. New York as a state did not even begin to go lockdown until March 23rd. So what you have here is, and I don't want to, you know, Washington's a smaller state and doesn't have the same dynamics, but California and New York are both really big states with mega cities, Los Angeles and New York. Now, those cities are different. Their density is different. We could, there's differences. I get it. But these are two very large, heavily populated states with at least one mega city apiece. And you can see the difference now of the, what happens when you do mobilization and lockdown earlier versus later. It makes a big difference. And you can see that in the time frame with where um, New York was failing to lock down. See how this, this, this incline is actually much steeper than California's, that doesn't look like a lot, but with exponential growth, that makes a lot of difference. And what you end up with is the difference between um, over 100,000 confirmed cases and between 1 million and many million actual, and a death count that's now over 5,000. And California, not only is it, 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 you know, the worst case scenario in California is over 100,000 infected, but the death rate is actually much, much lower. So we're seeing the difference now within mobilization and lockdown that favors earlier is better. And it's not conclusive. It's not empirical. Again, this is an explanatory truth. It's not as good as physics, but it's good enough to give us a predictive power of what we should do in the future. And this all plays into how do we react to wave two? How do we inform ourselves for future waves? Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow the InfoMullet, visit us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you'd like notifications when we post new video content, click on the red subscribe button below the video. If you've ever wanted to become a mulleteer and support the InfoMullet, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate the support.